Hi guys, it's me, Carly. Welcome back to my channel, The Planted Carly Flower. Today we are gonna unbox a plant that I didn't know was gonna come in the mail today. So that's super exciting. Also, we're gonna check on some plants I got recently and just see how they're doing and how they're getting used to their new home. So grab yourself something to drink. It'll be a little bit of a shorter one today, but we're gonna have a lot of fun anyways. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into the unboxing. Okay guys, let's get right into this unboxing. Um, I did find this plant on Mercari and we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see how it shipped. This is a new seller for me. I know that's crazy. This isn't from Serena's Hoyas on Mercari. This is from a place called Sprouting Leaves. Um, they seemed to have some really good prices and some really cute plants. So I thought, why not try another seller and give you guys a recommendation? First thing in the box is a thank you note, and it basically just tells me about acclimating my plant and what I need to do and things like that. Some social some care tips, and there's the name of the company, Sprouting Leaves. And again, on Mercari, I will link them down below if you're interested in checking them out after this. This is what I see when I open the box. Lots and lots of polyfill. I'm going to dig in here and see if I can find the plant. There it is. And the box feels a little heavy, so I'm just going to double check that there's nothing else in here and I don't see anything just the heat pack okay so we're good to go there I only see the heat pack and a bunch of polyfill and this heat pack is really big and really heavy it must be a long duration one so let's go ahead and take a look here at uh, the plant turn you a little bit give you a better view of the plant there and the packaging is bubble wrapped you can see that there's some condensation inside so I'm, I'm hoping this plant isn't soaking wet in there and like gonna have problems from that but I don't want to jump the gun you never know so we're just gonna go ahead and break into the bubble wrap and this is the cutest packaging you guys oh my gosh the color combination is just adorable and look how cute it's like a little present oh I love it when they package them so cute so let's go ahead and take that off and this is just tissue paper it does feel a little wet so let's go ahead and see the condition of the plant inside um, it's not taped horribly so I can pretty easily just get in here and I'm just going to peel it away and there's more polyfill inside and the plant pops right out. <gasps> oh, guys, this thing is beautiful. Oh, I love it already. Let's go ahead and clear this out of the way and get this dirt off. Because you guys know I like a clean workstation. <laughs> but look how cute, you guys. Oh, it's so tiny and adorable. I love it so much. I love the variegation on the inside of these leaves. It's just so pretty. I do like um, an inner variegation a little bit more than an outer, but it's all beautiful. Let's get real. Variegation is gorgeous. And this plant is absolutely beautiful. I'll put the name of the plant there on the bottom. Um, it's a pretty well-known plant among uh, Hoya people and, and just plant people in general. You see it pretty often, and it's not super hard to find, but it is on the pricier side as far as Hoyas go. Um, I did spend a little bit of money on this, but I hit a weight loss goal, and this was my reward. I believe this plant... One second, let me think. Yeah, I went and checked. So I spent $125 on this plant. And I know, I know it sounds crazy and like a lot of money, but I'm totally happy with what I spent. I think it's gorgeous. I think I deserve it after working so, so hard to lose 20 pounds in the past month and a half. And, and I'm very proud of myself. I started my weight loss journey on February 1st. And it's about almost halfway through March when I'm recording this now. So in a month and a half, I lost 20 pounds. Let's take a look at some plants I recently got. This is Hoya Inconspicua. And it's rooting currently in some LECA on my heat mat. Um, I normally would have this in my Mills bow, but I don't have room in there right now until I build my new one. This is Hoya Carnosa Freckles. I did import this, as you can tell on the leaf from the 
from the Chinese written there. This is Hoya Cinemafolia, and it's looking really lush and perfect. Um, the leaves are a little limp still from transit, but they're both currently in new substrates, so that also is going to cause that. This is Hoya Revolubulus, and this one is just doing amazing. The leaves are nice and thick and chunky, and it's just happy. It's got this little tendril here, and it's doing well in ponds so far. I'm really happy with this one. And let's see, everything over here is doing really, really well. I'm very happy with all my plants that I got over here. Um, I recently made a trellis for my Hoya Carnosa Dapple Gray. It was growing in very weirdly, so I had to kind of get creative. I had to leave the, the green trellis for stability too. This is my uh, Jade Carnosa, and also I had to make a trellis for this because it was getting a long tendril, and it's so lush. I'll try to see if I can put a picture up of what it looked like when I got it. Um, and this, my Carnosa, my uh, Coriana Splash, is doing super well too. It's growing, it's trailing more and more every day. And just checking on these cuttings, and they're doing well. There is my new little plant baby, and it's new home in my mills bow. Ooh, my sw silver sword looks like it's getting a leaf. Look at that. Oh, I love this plant. It's so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the silvery shine on the leaves is just stunning, and I highly recommend. Um, my imbricata is seems to be doing well. Um, no changes with it whatsoever. This Hoya elliptica did not fare well in the import, but these don't travel well notoriously anyway. And got some new growth coming in all over the place. Look how sun-stressed my Hoya AH129 is getting. It's so dark purple. Um, my parasitica splash is doing well, excellent. And here's just a few more pictures of my Hoya baby in its new place. Okay guys, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me to unbox my new plant and to check out some of the stuff I got recently. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you stick around and like, comment, and subscribe, and you can see more things that I'm getting. We can do some more planty stuff. I have all my substrate videos coming up soon. That's going to be exciting. My Millsbow cabinet build. So I really hope you stick around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.